compare it to be a tourniquet. Right now it is a bracelet. This is just a bracelet. The first step to get it off of your arms, this red one it says, take me off first. So you just take the Velcro off. You can just pull it off and it'll come right off. Once you take that red one off, now this can be unraveled. It wraps around twice. One direction, here's the first direction. Pull it out and pull it out. And now it's off your wrist without taking that off. And you need that to be connected actually so that you can use it as a tourniquet. So now you have the other three Velcros that you need to take off. Now you're here, how do you unravel this part? Well, I usually just swing it, but you don't have to do that. They are also unwrapped in the opposite direction. So you can do one, then you can do the other. To prepare it to be a tourniquet, which it's almost prepared, you have to pull this buckle away. You want this space to be about the size of the limb. So now it's ready. This is, this is the ready to be a tourniquet position. The cat tourniquet, C-A-T tourniquet, it works pretty much the same. So now let's say I'm putting it on myself. So if I put it on myself, I don't have an extra hand. I'm gonna end up using my teeth and I need to tighten it, right? So this isn't tight enough, I can make it tighter. I'm ready to tighten a tourniquet, but first I need to wrap one side. It doesn't matter which side, watch careful. I can just tuck it. I don't have to tuck it far, that's fine. I just wanna tuck one, there's a reason for that. If you don't tuck one, you can still tighten it, but it'll take longer. So after you've tucked one, you then take this, just twist, slide this right over it. This is a locked tourniquet. That's the whole process.